Hey everyone, welcome to another Mighty Reviews. Today, we're looking at another replica item, and I was really curious about this guy because I have a real one uh, on its way, and it's just going to take a little while to get here, so I stumbled upon these fake ones in my search for a real one, and I decided to just pull the trigger because they weren't very expensive to get it, just to kind of see what it was all about. And kind of, I'll just, uh, I guess, assuage my curiosity and also to give you guys an idea of what um, you might want to look out for when you are trying to get a real SNS Precision item. So, this is a replica of the SNS Precision uh, Max um, light body for Ops Core helmets. And first things first, I didn't realize this when I purchased it because the pictures I saw didn't have it, but this thing actually has SNS trades on it. So, yeah, whatever. So, if you're looking for a um, real one, you need to be careful because these do exist and they have full trademarks on them. I'm not sure if the trademarks are exact what you see on an SNS, but it says MX0001, patent pending, and then SNS precision right there. Uh, first thing I noticed was it seemed to have an excessive amount of movement. I tied, I tried tightening this little grub screw that's down there. That didn't do much. And then if I tighten these two Allen screws, uh, it either makes it where it's almost impossible to move them out around or doesn't do much at all. If you can see, as you have it tightened, there's like a gap right there. and it's, So it's obviously not a precisionly, precision machined. A piece it's just good enough uh, you got a grub screw here to help tighten it down and that's your little like um, decent piece that catches in your arc rails so these were designed supposedly for m300 c m300 v lights um, i've got a real surefire uh, m300 c and so the head for that real surefire is here and it goes on get the battery in there uh, without an issue and I had read that uh, after I had saw these, I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, I had read about the light heads being fine, but the issue being the thread pitch on the tail area. And I found that to be accurate. So this is the real um, tail. And it only goes on, sorry, I'm off camera, to about right there, leaving all that space. And it does not engage the light. I had an extra tail cap from a uh, Repro Surefire Scout that I would picked up for another video, and it's the actual push button cap, and that actually goes on perfectly. So the tail cap of these fake SNS Precision mounts is more for a Scout um, light and it's pitched for these repro ones because i don't know if a real cap if of this style would even fit it as well but um once that does get on as you can see the light functions so that actually gives you all the connection you need so that's good when i get the real one in i'm gonna do a side by side of these guys to kind of show you why um you really need to go with the real guy versus uh, one of these these aren't expensive they're in like the 27 dollar range they're super cheap and a real one's over well over 100 but you're paying for quality you're paying for machining you're paying for craftsmanship and when you have these out there with these full trademarks on them that does kind of muddy up the waters a little bit and it does add some confusion but so i've got a my airsoft ops core right here and i'm just going to go and slide this on No, actually, before I do that, so there is a lot of travel and play in this mount. And I don't think that's going to be that way in the real one. So, just kind of free for thought. See, this is one of those things where if you don't line this guy just right, it doesn't want to actually go into the arc see earlier it it slid right into the arc row no issues now it's giving me issues and it's done this earlier as well so i don't know 
why it's doing that, per se. Actually, I think I know exactly where right now. So, let's back that out some. Yeah, there we go. That, that was the exact reason why. Let's get this guy all the way. Come on. There we go. So you heard that nice click, big satisfying click. So now it's locked in. Now I notice uh, once it's on there, that travel is not as severe. Let me back this out of the camera a little bit. Uh, but it's still there. I noticed when you kind of have it hugged to the helmet, the light stays put. Now, what I want, functionality-wise and why I got this, was to be able to move these things around to kind of give me some umbrella lighting. Now, with this in the way, I really can't do that. But what I can do is I can rotate it like that. And I can do the umbrella lighting that I want. But then I notice once I bring it back around, all that to play is really bad. So you got to like hug the light to the helmet and it kind of takes some of that out. So again, I'm not sure if the real one is going to be that loosey goosey. I don't know if that's actually intentionally designed to have that much give or play, but I just feel like there's an excessive amount of travel in this mount. So time will tell. We will see once I get the real, the real max mount in. Um, I'll be able to kind of give you guys a better understanding of uh, whether or not that is uh, machined similarly or if it's different. But regardless, I thought it was just kind of cool to uh, get my hands on one of these things, check it out for the channel and for you guys out there and to show you <clears throat> that uh, even though they are inexpensive, they may not really be worth the money because you're going to run into light compatibilities. I was just lucky that I had one of these tail caps around. If I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to use this at all. This this thing would have been completely unusable, and it would have been an even bigger waste of the twenty some dollars that it was. So overall, um, I reviewed replica stuff on the channel before. I'm not a I don't I'm not a hater on repro stuff, but at the same time, I would much rather buy the real stuff if I could. Now I know some of you out there don't have access to SNS Precision products because they are export banned and ex uh, export issues here in the U.S. And you may live in a territory or country or area that doesn't have anyone who's paid the money to properly import uh, products like this to sell in your market. And that's just honestly kind of where these replica things come into play because it's, it's BB Wars and it's a fashion show and people want the cool stuff on their helmets. I just wanted the functionality because I really like that way of doing the light. And I happen to be lucky enough to live in an area where I can easily buy SNS Precision products with no issues. Uh, and I'm a huge believer in buy once, cry once. But <clears throat> this was for the channel. This was specifically to kind of show you guys uh, what is out there, what your options are, and um, what to look out for if you're in the market for a real one because these things could easily muddy up the market and uh, add some confusion uh, once i do get the real one though i will do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see uh, any of the issues or differences that may have made the fake easier to spot so you can avoid buying a fake one if you're not trying to and if you are trying to well there you go this is what they look like this is how they are this is the issues uh, that i saw and um i don't know I think the real one would be better, but we'll see. Time will tell. Thanks for watching. It's kind of a long one. I got a little long-winded, but I felt I needed to touch on the things I did. Uh, as always, get out there, play some Airsoft, build yourself some cool kits. Um, it's a fashion show, so cool lids are the way to go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.